bitten by the spider? Um, no, I was not. I wasn't. The horriblest part for me was trying to get to sleep with the cockroach just crawling on me. And I was there one of the longest, because the average stay in, in Sheriff Joe Power's jail is a matter of weeks or months. And I was there for 26 months, and I was so lucky never to, never to have got bitten. But I did assist many times and help people when they had been bitten, and they, we had to get the puss out in the manner that I described. So, yeah. And I, if you want to Google it, I think it's the brown recluse. That's why we never saw it, because it's called the recluse, because it, it comes out at night foraging for food. It's only a small spider. Um, when you got beaten up by that big Mexican guy, yeah. what injuries did you face? When I got smashed in the back by this guy, I was just had a really sore back for the next several days because he got me right in the kidneys, basically. And, you know, I'm really lucky because I never got any teeth knocked out or bones broken. And I saw a lot of that going on, and I put it down to a number of factors. There was a few of my bouncers were arrested with me, including a guy called Wildman from my hometown, who's a big fellow and he's got some fighting skills, and the gangs respected him. He's one of the main characters in the book. And then later on, when I got separated from him and the other co defendants, because my blog was making news all over the world, people from all over the world started sending in letters and books, not just to me but to the prisoners like T-Bone and Xena that I was writing about. And I did have situations with the gang members, and then those guys all stood up for me and started protecting me. So I was in a very unique situation. Plus, also my people skills, you know, my Englishness. They would come up to me and ask me about England. Do you know the Spice Girls? Do you know the Queen? And I'd be playing along with it. And that, all that stuff really helped me.